Floam. If you guys grew up in the 90s, you know exactly what this is. Goo Project number five. And if you guys didn't grow up in the 90s, this kind of reminds me of the gooey stuff from Peridot's little orbs when they were trying to fix the galaxy warp. <gasps> kind of gooey with a bunch of little stuff inside. So many goo projects. Goo project number five. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today we're going to be doing our fifth goo project. If you guys haven't checked out our goo videos before, there'll be a list in the description below, or you could click any of the annotations that I put up somewhere here. If you guys grew up in the 90s, you'll know this project as Floam, which is pretty much a foamy goo. We're going to be using the recipe from our Goo Without Borax video, so make sure you check that out before watching this video. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include 4 ounces of white glue, a small mixing bowl, some polyfill microbeads. I got this in the sewing section of a craft store, but if you can't find this at your craft store, I'll have links to this in the description below. Assorted food coloring, water, a popsicle stick for mixing, and some liquid starch. I found this in the laundry section of the grocery market, but I'll also have links to this in the description below. First, you want to take your white glue and pour it out into your small bowl. A pro tip for this project, you can take your quarter cup of water, pour it into your glue, put the cap back on, and then shake it to get all the remaining glue that's left inside your bottle. Add a few drops of food coloring into your mix, and then using your popsicle stick, combine your glue, your water, and your food coloring. Carefully add about one cup of your microbead filling into your mix. Be very careful with this stuff since it actually gets everywhere. Carefully mix your microbeads into your glue and your water solution. Once everything has been thoroughly mixed together, add about half a cup of your liquid starch into your mix. As you mix your ingredients together, you'll notice a solid start to form. Like our past goo projects, this is going to be the part where it gets a little messy but pretty fun. Use your hands to continue mixing and kneading your ingredients together. Once your phloem has completely formed, you can take it out of the bowl and you can actually use it to pick up some of the microbeads that might have spilled earlier. This will actually be an easier way to clean everything up versus having to vacuum or pick these up by hand. Phloem is a really cool project just because it acts like goo, but it has a completely different texture. It actually is able to hold its shape a little longer compared to regular goo, and when you try to combine it to the other goos, it doesn't connect automatically. It actually takes some time before the two pieces stick, but eventually if you put them together long enough, they will mix. This project was actually requested by Super Doggy Girl, and I checked it out and I actually was really impressed by it since it looked like something that I had in the 90s. So make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below what projects you want me to make in the future, and I'll check it out and see if I could actually make it. In a little bit of other news, uh, some of you guys noticed that I was in a BuzzFeed video, so if you guys haven't seen that, you can check it up right up here or in the description below if you're watching on your phone or on your iPad. It was a really cool thing to be on BuzzFeed, and if you guys mention me enough, maybe I'll be back on BuzzFeed for another project. Hopefully you guys had fun making this project. If you guys do make this project, make sure you use the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag so that I can find it on social media. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Take care and stay crafty.